Today, I'm going to be using 100 military bases. And you may be wondering, what does 100 of them look like? This is one military base. Hey, what happened? And this is 100. <laughs> so how will 100 of these perform against every single boss? If you guys didn't know yet, this is a TDS modded game, not the official TDS. So this is all for fun. So the first thing I did was just casually give myself 10 million dollars. You know, nothing special. And the next thing was to disable the tower place limit. If you don't know what this does, it just let me place towers infinitely. And I got Swifter helping me out as well, so check him out. So I just got done placing my 50th tank and as so far, it doesn't look too bad. Everything's still running smoothly. My PC's still fine. Now after 100, everything just went downhill. As you can see, nothing is moving. And not even the zombies are moving. So we just lagged out the whole server. So it was time for plan B to place less. So we did place less this time and use the shorter map so the tanks would die faster. This is so we don't lag and crash the server. And everything went smooth and fine. I even spawned in a test boss, I mean test grave digger, poor grave digger. And we haven't crashed the server yet, so. We're gonna do this in order. So the first zombie is grave digger and a molten boss, etc. etc. And as you can see, grave digger isn't doing so good. Even though the tanks are going right through him, uh, he's being dealt a lot of DPS by just the guns that are on the tanks. That was easy. Now, Molten Boss. A little bit higher HP, but I think we could still manage. Same like Grave Digger, the tanks are just going right through Molten Boss. Um, I'm not sure why, but I think the boss is glitched. But that's going to be another easy win. But holy crap, this was taking very long. Like, the tanks were just like driving right through the zombie like it's not even there but of course we win because we never lose these now we have fallen king and i think we could do this because it's only double of molten boss and molten boss didn't really get that far so we have a really good chance of this and yes we won now the nuclear fallen king it has a lot of health 500,000 to be precise, and to be honest, we're just getting destroyed right now. The map is so small, and there could be only so many tanks spawning at once. So, yeah, we didn't really make it. Enraged King, this boss actually looks really cool, and... It has 1.5 million health, so yeah, if we couldn't beat Nuclear King, then that means we can't beat the Enraged King. Now, the Umbra. It has 1 million HP, and she's gonna walk right through us, I'm already guessing, because that's more than- that's just double of Nuclear Fallen King, and we couldn't even kill Nuclear Fallen King, so that's that. This is the mechanical rot. I think it's from the secret wave before it got removed and it has 75,000 HP so I think we actually have a chance here. <laughs> Finally. And as you can see we won. Yay. This is Jackalbot from the Halloween event on TDS a couple years ago. and. It only has like 300k HP, so I think we have a chance here. It's less than Nuclear Fallen King, so... Yeah, it's getting my hopes up a bit. And would you look at that. We won. Now the Frost Spirit from the Frost Invasion event from 2021, I think? Or 2020, I forgot. And this guy has 1 million HP. I forgot he was a difficult boss in that event and I don't think we really have much of a chance to even beat him with 100 military bases right here so yeah. So the creator also from the secret wave is basically below natural as a zombie and it has 600k HP so 
Uh, it could be a close one since it's walking. And it wasn't. The tanks just drove right through him. Now, the Hero Brian, or actually just Hero Brian, the dude from Minecraft, and I don't even know the context of how he's in the game, but it's kind of cool that he's here. And he walks so dang fast, so we definitely lost this. Now, Kugel Blitz, a reference from the game Tower Blitz. It's a. Yeah, it's a big zombie, and the tanks are just driving right under him, so we definitely lost this one. Now, nah, running Fallen King. Um, do I even have to explain? Do I even have to explain for this one as well? Void Reaver, 700k HP. Yeah, chances are really low that we're gonna beat this dude. Void from tower battles. This is actually a really cool zombie. And I think we actually have a chance for this because it walks so slow. We won! Finally! Yeah. Yeah, in no way. Finally, something manageable. We have a good chance we can beat this dude. Oh my gosh. We beat them! And the last boss, hopefully we got some good luck. Thank gosh luck was on our side. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to join my Discord server. Uh, it will be in the comments. Bye bye.